Hey guys. Today our topic is. What is pointing? And types of pointing. So move toward our. Today's topic. Pointing. The joints on the face of stonework. Or brickwork. Are unevenly filled in. While the wall is being constructed. These unfinished joints. Need to be filled. And finished properly. Pointing is a method. Of repairing these mortar joints. To improve the appearance of the brick. Or stone masonry. And to protect it from weathering actions. When pointing is done. It's totally adopted in the situations. Where it is not required to produce a smooth. And even surface. Where the surface appearance. Is exhibited by the pattern. Thickness. Colors. And texture of joints. Where the natural beauty of materials stone. Blocks and bricks. Etc. is. Desired to be exhibited in the walls. Where good quality materials. Like stone blocks. Are used in construction. Which can withstand the. Adverse effects of weather. Under such conditions. Pointing being. An economical alternative. Is recommended. Where the workmanship. Is of good quality. And joints can be finished smooth. With richer mortar mix. Method of pointing. Before starting the pointing work. Joints are raked down. Up to a depth of 15 mm. Using a chisel. Or any other tools. Loose material is then removed. Space is cleaned with water. And left wet for some time. Joints are then filled with suitable material. Using a trowel. By forcing it into the joints. Excess mortar is removed. And the surface is finished. Types of pointing. The joints of pointed work are finished in various shapes. This finishing of pointing work into different types is described below. Weathered pointing. Struck pointing. Flush pointing. V-grooved pointing. Keyed pointing. Recessed pointing. Tuck pointing. Beaded pointing. Cut weathered. Struck pointing. Struck. Or cut weathered pointing. Is done by keeping the face of the pointing. Sloping outwards. Instead of vertical. This is obtained by. Filling in the rake joints. And pressing the finished face inside. By 3 to 6 mm. With a suitable pointing tool. Flush pointing. Flush pointing is obtained by. Forcing mortar into the joints. And removing the excess mortar. The joint is flushed. Or even out with the face. Flush pointing does not have a good appearance. But it is the most durable. Simplest. And commonly used method. Because it does not leave any space. For dirt. V-grooved pointing. V-pointing. Is achieved by filling in the joints. Flushing them with the face. And forming a V-shaped groove. Or by projecting V-shaped pointing. In the joints. Rubbed or keyed pointing. This type of pointing. Is also known as keyed pointing. This pointing. Is a modified form of flushed pointing. In which joints are first flushed. With face. And a groove is formed. In the freshly applied mortar. This type is widely used. And gives a better appearance. And better grip for plaster work. Recessed pointing. In recessed pointing. The mortar is filled in the joints. And pushed back to 5 mm. Or more using appropriate tools. The face is kept vertical. For this pointing. This type of pointing. Is mostly used for good facing work. Using high quality mortar. Tuck pointing. Tuck pointing is achieved by filling in the joints. Flushing them with the face. And forming a rectangular groove. At the center of the joint. The width. And depth of a groove. Are kept 5 mm. And 3 mm respectively. This groove is then filled up. With white lime putty. And silver sand in a small amount. Leaving a small projection of 3 mm. If this projection is not made in the mortar. It is called bastard pointing. Or half tuck pointing. Beaded pointing. Beaded pointing is formed. At the center of joints. Using a steel. Or iron rod. With a concave shaped edge. This type of pointing. Is attractive in appearance. But it is problematic to sustain. As it can be easily damaged. If you enjoyed our today's video. Then like. And share. Our today's video. And subscribe our channel.